Set 75314, the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. Minifigs are awesome. Here we got Wrecker. Looks really, really good. And here we have Hunter. Also comes with an optional hairpiece. As you can see here. And we have Echo. With plug spots on this head and all. We have Tack with this really, really cool helmet, and it's got the new Marvel-like guns here as well. So, really, really good look. Optional hairpiece there as well. The visor on this helmet there is not movable, it does not come down. We have a gonk droid. This is very similar to what we got in the advent calendar a couple years ago, or maybe it was last year. And then we have Crosshair who looks awesome in his all black armor, you see the face there, perfect. Um, this speeder is very, very Clone Wars like. You see, they use the same skis again they used in the past, the attachments there, just like in the past. Uh, stud shooters in the front. So, very, very good looking set. Uh, a few stickers here, and then there's some here in the back as well. But all in all, this is a really, really good speeder. I like it, love the color because it's not the red and white like we're used to from the older speeders. Tech speeder is just, it's okay. It's just, there isn't much to it. Uh, no stud shooters or anything. Again, just kind of okay. It's really light. I mean, you have crosshair speeder, which is so awesome. And then this is kind of like, meh. And here's the shuttle. First off, I love the fact that this is printed and not a sticker. So the center section lifts up and you've got a compartment on the inside. Not a ton of space. Little storage compartment here that opens up. You can lift up the canopy just a little bit without lifting the entire thing, but it's not very much. Not even sure why they bothered. Here we have the engines in the back. You'll notice that the wings, um, they're studded on one side. You got the underneath and the other. That center wing here, unlike using the one by two bricks like before, they've used it just using Technic or just using regular plates. Kind of weird, but it works. Wings can be expanded as well. You got the stud shooters underneath there. Oh, and I just shot myself. There is no landing gear underneath, which I think is kind of a bummer. The other thing is make sure you don't lift it by the center section because all that will come up. I really wish they would have had some kind of locking mechanism here uh, so that, you know, it wouldn't always come up. And with as much as this wing comes over, again, this hits here so you can't open that all the way. It's a great set. Uh, Displays better with the wings open. For $100, it's all about the minifigs for me. It's all about these guys. I wish Omega would have been included, but that's my review.